What is happening, YouTubers? It's your boy, Polly C. Check out all the debris. Yeah, that rhymed. <laughs> anyway, I'm parked as close as I can to this entry, but you can see this is a long staircase. It's covered with debris. That's kind of the thing that I'm up against when I when it's raining in the Pacific Northwest. There's all kinds of stuff. This is a, a nine inch bonnet. And I'll show you, it fits right over the wheels. You'll see that inside. But first, let's have a little walk through. There's the Hoover Hush Tone commercial high powered ultra suction machine. <sighs> that took a lot to get out. I got my stair tool attached to it there. Oh yeah, there's the cyclonic beast. And the microfiber pad underneath is just my walk-off mat. I'll be using uh, the all-cotton pads today. Got my collapsible bucket with my solution in there. You could see my outdoor shoes there. I switched over to the white Crocs. They're clean for indoor use once I got all the equipment inside. That way your boy doesn't have to bend over and put those booties on, which is difficult when you have a size 12 foot and you got a big old belly. <laughs> There's my stair master. I'll be cleaning the stairs with that and the pads. You can see there I got a long, long stairwell that goes down, nothing at the bottom, and then just the three steps here. Inside, this is a furnished rental, and I'm not supposed to move any of the furniture, so I will move a few small items just because I know the owner. They attempted to vacuum, but I stopped them halfway through. You can see three more steps up, goes down a hallway, you got a bathroom to the right, and then you got a small guest room on the left here. I do this house every year. I don't think it's an Airbnb. I think it's a maybe a commercial rental for like being that you could take a ferry from Bainbridge Island. This is where I live. You can take a ferry. It takes about 30 minutes to get to Seattle. So a lot of these Seattle executives will come up here and lease condos or temporary Airbnbs while they're working for a year, maybe at Microsoft or Amazon or some of the other large companies that are housed in Seattle. You can see here, this is the master bedroom. Again, I'll probably move that chair into this little office area. It's a great office, man. It's got a lot of natural light in there coming in from the glass windows. It does have a sunroom patio, which is really nice too. It has a, I think it's a bar out there. I can't remember, we'll, we'll walk around and check it out. A bar or a piano. These walk-ups and walk-downs, you know, they have used to have great rooms back in the 80s where you step down a few steps into a living room. They don't do that as much, thank goodness, these days, because it can be a pain. I got my pad driver for the Cyclonic Beast. Got a few pads there. All right, let's have a look. down this direction. In just a moment. There's the tools that we'll be using today. I need to put a phone call in about the furniture. Is that a bar or a piano? I think it's a bar. But you can see what a beautiful sunroom. 
all glass, just absolutely gorgeous. That'd probably be my master bedroom if I lived here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, guys and girls, enjoy the vacuuming. Catch up to you in just a moment. Alrighty then. We do a nice thorough vacuuming with the Hoover Hutch Tone on the staircase. I'm going to mix up the Magic Potion. This is a crystallizing cleanser. 
and a stabilized CLO2 product. So if you're doing a low moisture cleaning, you probably want to make sure you're using something that is an encapsulating solution that, or a crystallizer like this one here. And the CLO2 will disinfect. It's an anti-allergen, etc. It's also an oxidizer. So it replaces uh, hydrogen peroxide it will oxidize the same way hydrogen peroxide works. In fact, if you put stabilized ClO2, or any ClO2 for that matter, and you mix hydrogen peroxide with it, it counterbalances and you end up with something you don't want. So use one or the other. You will see I'm using one hand. See the covers on the wheels? Oh yeah, looking good. Classic wheel covers by Polly C's House of Hotcakes. <laughs> Watch me spill this all over the place. Hopefully I spill it right down the center of the motor there. That forced me to buy a new machine. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. All right, we'll top it off with a little more, take it up to the top. I wouldn't imagine this whole house would probably take about a gallon and a half. We're only doing two bedrooms, living room, dining room, the, the uh, walk-up stair platforms, and then the staircase. There you go. Up to the top, like magic, the CLO2 is activated. So I recommend you put your seat belts on. Please put your trays in the upright position and bring your seats forward so you're not bothering those people sitting behind you. And watch as the 747 Cyclonic Beast takes off. Oh, yeah. This is the pad driver. They call that a malish pad driver. You can see it has holes all around the surface. And that's where the solution from my tank that you saw me just fill up will gravity feed as I pull the trigger. Let the solution slide down the hose and onto the back of the pad. That is allowing the solution to be not just sprayed on with a pre-spray gun or a pump-up sprayer where it has to kind of be sprayed a little heavier to get to the deeper regions or all sides of the fibers. When you're shower feeding, you're actually pre-spraying in a sense, but you're, up, you're applying the solution or the pre-spray deep into the carpet and that's gonna allow it to dwell for a bit you can see I won't be back to that beginning stage for quite a while. I'll go all the way through the room and then I will either flip the pad over if the other side is still clean, come back and do my extraction step without applying any solution. That draws the suspended soils up into the special cotton pad. If I elect to do a second pass with a fresh pad, depending on the soil load or what the situation is. You may see me drop another pad in place and go over it an additional time. My goal is to get all of the soil or as much soil as I can up into the pad. There are no methods that actually res will remove 100% of you know the soil. That's the good thing, even with hot water extraction or steam cleaning like I used to do in the day. You're gonna leave behind a little bit of solution and as long as you're not using heavy detergents or solvents and you're using a crystallizing encapsulation solution, it will not leave a residue. This dries quicker, zero residue, and the clean will last a lot longer. Have you ever had your carpets cleaned and a week later you go, wow, that was a waste of money? Well, that's not going to happen here. Your carpets will remain clean. I go into homes or clients that I do once a year, and 
I'll tell you what, sometimes I walk in there and I've got to sit on my hands to keep from clapping because them carpets are so well maintained from this process. It's just crazy. Look at that glittering potion. <laughs> oh, there it is. Playing with the lights there, guys and girls. Oh, yeah. All right, you can see we've completed that section. Now, this is not the finished product. There's multiple steps involved in low moisture. So you pre-vacuum thoroughly like I did, pre-spot with specialty spotters as needed, and then shower feed or shampoo the carpets, and then come back and extract with the other side of the pad or dry pad. Where does the soil go? Well, let's have a peek. Right there, it gets sucked up into that pad. The pad is specifically made for carpet cleaning, this style of carpet cleaning. You could see the contrast on the back side, side B, which I'll probably use to go over and extract up some more soil. While I am applying the solution with side A, obviously it's pulling the soil up as well. That's why you could see. You can see there. Then the next step will be to go back and check my work, which I call grooming. I'll show you that at the end. By putting those triangles on, it allows me to push the carpet forwards and backwards and also verify or see if there's any remaining stains that need to be treated. Both sides are filthy. So let's go. We got another pad. I'll throw this out of the way. This process takes a lot longer than traditional steam cleaning used to take me. That was one of the things that I considered when I switched over because sometimes I walk into a home and I say, wow, I, you know, you could actually run 50 foot of hose right through the door. There's a perfect spot in the driveway and I could be in and out. But uh, with this process, there is no in and out. It is follow the routine, follow the steps makes it nice if you do hire employees if you own a carpet cleaning company you can give them a standard routine list and say here's what you're doing you're going to walk in evaluate the situation you're going to pre-vacuum you're going to edge you're going to spot with your specialty spotters rust remover kool-aid slime gum we got stuff for everything and then you're going to go to the next step which is what you saw me doing here I won't run through it all again but obviously it's methodical it does take time but the results are definitely worth it and I definitely do not miss carrying or wrapping a hundred foot of hose around both arms and walking into someone's home all the way up the stairs to the furthest point to run the hose backwards and this machine has eight inch wheels on it so I can easily maneuver it and get it up and down the stairs. It does a fantastic job. I do have a smaller cyclonic machine that I use, which is an OP machine, which orbits. Wow, look at that. Anybody wanna to go to Starbucks for a mochaccino or what do they call it? A mocha frappuccino, that's what that looks like, right? But anyway, I will be, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be using uh, the smaller tool for the staircases and the mini steps today. Along with my spray bottle, I got my crystallizer and my CeeLo2 mixed up in this bottle as well. All of the areas you see me do will probably take, this is a 32 ounce bottle. These are not real heavily soiled stairs or steps and the landing's not too bad. I'll pre-treat them a little heavier on the spots, 
but I don't imagine I'll use more than uh, maybe two thirds of this bottle. So maybe about what, 20 ounces, I guess. You can see I've barely used any so far, but it will be effective as far as cleaning goes. You'll see that. So stay tuned. I'll go down and get these steps cleaned up and then we'll have a look. All right, or as Matthew McConaughey would say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Look at that, beautimous, beautimous. I gotta zoom in on that, oh my goodness. You can see the pad here is a special pad. This one is, a 50-50 blend, it is cotton and polyester. I believe it's polyester, cotton and nylon. I think it's polyester, but anyway, you can see the contrast here. Doing a fantastic job of picking up. Also, the fact that it has a synthetic blend in there helps uh, break down some of the resistance. If you're using a tool like this, you don't want to overheat the pad and burn the carpet. So it's always a good idea, either extra solution or use a 50-50 blend. You can see the various spots will open the trigger sprayer orifice a little bit opener so we can stream the product right onto it. Don't know what this is, but I'm sure it will be obliterated.
Oh yeah, there's a tool for everything. My walk-off mat. The hand tool for the stairs. It's got a seven inch uh, hook and loop Velcro pad driver on it. This is the Rug Renovator. It's a double-sided rolling brush. You can use this to pre-agitate, spray your product down, and then scrub where needed, like in front of a couch or something. However, I, this is the part of the video where I'm actually grooming and verifying my work. I am doing this with one hand, as you can see from my shadow. I'm holding the cell phone camera in the other hand. I will go back over it and apply a little more force with two hands. But I'll give you an idea here. The grooming will actually give you those aesthetic triangles that most people associate with just freshly cleaned or vacuumed by a really good vacuum. Look at that. I don't see no spots, do you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go open this up. It's an extending pole. I'll extend it out about eight feet. There it is. Rug renovator. I'll go bang out the rest of the rooms, get them nice, make sure there's no spots I need to address. And then I'll show you a few pictures at the end of the video. All right, you can see everything came out beautiful. I'll put a collage together and send it to my client. Let him know that everything has been completed, looking good. We guarantee all the results, 100% money back guarantee. So I hope this answers a lot of questions about the process, and I will see you in the next episode.